Hi Theory students! In this chapter we're going to be talking about how to use sets to do musical analysis. In part one we'll be talking about pitch class sets, pitch intervals, and transposition. Pitch classes work like clock arithmetic. We arbitrarily put the note C at the top of a clock, and we'll call this 0, not 12. The other pitches will go up chromatically, moving clockwise from 0, and where 10 and 11 are, we'll write them as T and E, because we don't want to confuse that, which could either be 10 or could be pitch class 1 and pitch class 0. So therefore we write T when we want 10 and we'll write E where we want 11. So if this is our representation of the clock face, then here is C, C sharp or D flat, we assume the same pitch equivalence, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp or A flat, A, B flat, and B. The more practice you have with these, the easier it will be for you to learn and use them. So we'll assume enharmonic equivalence. C sharp and D flat are the same number, pitch class 1. And we'll be converting our familiar pitches to numbers, and we'll see why this is so useful for the music that we're studying. A pitch class set is a collection of these pitches. We'll assemble all the pitches. We'll list each pitch class only once. Arrange them in the following way. List the pitches so that if you go around the clock, you are moving the smallest distance to get from the first to the last pitch. So, for example, if we had a pitch class set in which we had the notes B, E flat, C sharp, and A, my first step is to convert them to numbers E, 3, 1, and 9. If I put them in size order now, 1, 3, 9, E, but now when I think of them around the clock, and let me go to our clock figure, so we had 1, 3, 9, and E, here's 1, here's 3, here's 9, and here's E, or 11. It should be fairly clear that if we start here at 9 and go clockwise, that that'll be the most compact way to write this. If we start at 11, there'll be a big gap between 3 and 9. Likewise, starting at 1 or 3, there'll be a big gap between 3 and 9. This way, we have the most compact representation. So 9, E, 1, 3 will be how we represent that pitch class set. To get a pitch class interval, just as we can assign numbers to specific pitches, we can assign numbers to specific intervals. Think of each interval as a number of half steps. You may think of this as a distance around the clock. The table on the next page illustrates this. So the pitch class interval integer for a unison is zero, you're not moving at all. A minor second, you're moving one. A major second, two. A minor third, three. And all the way up to a major seventh, being a pitch class interval integer of 11. Imagine, for example, if we start here at pitch class one, 
if we're moving by a minor third, that's like adding 3 to the number 1, and we'll get from pitch class 1 to pitch class 4 if we move a minor third. Likewise, if we start over there at the letter T and we move a minor third, we'll get to pitch class 1. Note that with mod 12 arithmetic, that once we cross the top of the clock, we start all over again. So while 10 plus 3 would normally equal 13, any number larger than 11 We subtract 12 and get 1, and that's why we ended up at 1 when we added 3 to 10. So we can see the transposition is now just a matter of adding a pitch class interval to a pitch class. For now, we won't worry about whether the interval is higher or lower, since a pitch class represents all ranges of that particular pitch. So when we talk about pitch class 0, we mean every C, and pitch class 2 would be every D. So it doesn't make sense if we're talking about every C and every D to talk about whether the distance between them is up or down. So what do you do? Uh, what if you do this transposition, get a higher number than 11? As I said, you keep subtracting 12 until you end up within our clock range from 0 to 11. So as I said, it's like moving around the clock. If I said to you it's 8 o'clock, what time will it be in 6 hours? You would tell me that it's 2 o'clock because you understand that as the hours go across the top, the hour numbers start all over again, 1 and 2. So to transpose a pitch class set, just transpose all of the elements the same interval. We had our pitch class set that was 9, E, 1, and 3. And if I want to transpose it by the pitch class interval 3, that now becomes 0, 2, 4, and 6. We'll be doing more with pitch class intervals and pitch class sets as we go along, but that's all for this video.